Hey everybody, I am painting over this, so I want to warn you now that if you like this painting and it's going to be too difficult to watch, then maybe you should stop <laughs> watching. So it's kind of like a PG-13 movie or an R movie, you know, if you're not, if you're not emotionally ready for me to part with this painting, then pass on this video. <laughs> so this, um, and I'm totally blanking on what number it is. And I had it, but it's gone. Um, it was a painting over another painting. And uh, it's, this is a wood, I love the pan, it's a wood, um, a wooden uh, canvas, you know, um, why am I blanking? Artist panel that I got on Amazon. And the exact one I've linked in my Amazon list, it's, this is an 18 by 18. Um, and so far it's been through two pours. Uh, there are a couple pinpricks around here. Here, um, doing a third pour is not going to help that out whatsoever, but a couple of coats of resin on it will. Um, and I have had this sitting here for quite a while now, just trying to decide. And it looks like two serpents like kissing. And I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I've tried. I've been looking at it every day. I keep it on my shelf. But, uh, yeah, no more. So I am, whoa, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I, I think I just put you back into where you were. I'm going to do a mallet smash on it. I wish I could remember what the original pour looked like. Um... The description or the title would probably be something uh what an art panel something like that because it was the first time i'd used this so it probably had something like that in the title of it um let's shake these babies up this is the back so it's a nice, it's a nice. So the paint, this white is a mix because I just did a video where I made um, some paint using Liquitex pouring medium. So this is about half of that white and then half of my normal um, flow troll and water. So this has, so basically this mixture, because I'm shaking it, I'm introducing the two together right now. They're falling in love. And then I'm going to dump them out. So I guess this would be Floetrol, water, pouring medium, and Dutch Boy, or um, Dutch Boy latex interior house paint. Oh, I also want to... Give a shout out, thank you to Lisa for your PayPal contribution. Um, every bit helps. I really appreciate it. Um, and now I'm going to pour. Yeah, these are a lot of little holes. So this won't help that situation, but oh my gosh, where'd that red come from? Yeah. Oh, the outside of this. I'm going to take the lid off because it would take forever for me to squirt this through the nozzle. And I hope it doesn't need much more than that. We're just going to see how much uh, use and abuse one wooden panel can take. <laughs> then I'll resin it a few times. We'll get this puppy weighing 300 pounds. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just tilting my paint over it. Ooh, did I tell you guys that I'm getting rid of the couch down here that I have hated? Um, I mean, I was complaining about it a year ago on my videos that I hated this couch and now I am getting rid of it Saturday. Um, to a refugee family in town. So I feel really good about it. Um, they're getting a nice couch and I'll get rid of the damn thing. 
but it still has all those stupid books on it from my husband and my son. But they're going to have to find a different place to put the books now. But when we tried to get it down into the basement, it got stuck in the stairwell. So I'm hoping we can get it up easier. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping the feet come off of it. But my son leaves town in a day, so and he's not home today or tomorrow. And I was going to use his, his manpower to... Uh, Get it up the stairs. Ooh, this is going to use almost all of the light. Is it not tilting off where I want it to? It's tilting off everywhere else. It's suicide. I just ordered some more art resin today, so more experiments coming. They are the swiftest company that I know of. I ordered it and 10 minutes later, I got an email that it had been shipped. Like they, and it, it'll come in maybe two days. It amazes me how fast they are. I think there must be actual people there. Like they just seem like a nice company. So it seems like there's actual humans that work there instead of just bots. I like companies that have like people <laughs> working. <laughs> I just ordered. I like Penzi Spices. I like their views on things. And as you guys know, I don't cook, but I just <laughs> ordered. I ordered a bunch of spices from there to just support them. And maybe I'll cook. But they were given away like this free kindness pack or something. I can't remember exactly what it was called. And, um, and so I went to order that, and then I just went and ordered a bunch more. I had my cart at first loaded to like 60 bucks, and my husband's like, you do not cook. You do not need to order $60 worth of spices. <laughs> so I narrowed it down to a reasonable $20. And maybe I will cook. Maybe my mom will stop making fun of me if I start cooking again. Ooh, I want to cover my light. I like to remind her that when the kids were little, I did cook. Once upon a time, I did cook. All right, I'm going to torch out whatever air bubbles I can. Close to the face. Stank eye. I'm surprised I don't need more propane. I'm surprised it's, I mean, the stuff lasts forever. Well, I guess I'm not really lighting it for long periods. Okay, I really do need more paper towels, but I'm going to go upstairs and get them. All right, so I am moving this chair because I'm going to stand. Let me make sure that we're in frame. And I am grabbing more paper towels. So take a second, talk amongst yourselves.
and they took the very last roll of paper towels. <sighs> and I just went through my house opening doors with these gloves. <laughs> my family's used to finding paint in odd spots. They're used to me by now. What the? Okay. So this is Liquitex Basic Cadmium Red Deep Hue, my favorite red. Well, I do like the Deep Red Artist Loft. It's very similar to this one, but that one's a pain in the butt to mix. It's very lumpy. You have to mix it, and then you really can't use it that day. It takes like a good day to kind of settle in, I guess you could call it. Um, this is a blue. This is a dark blue mixed with a white with some iridescent medium in it. At this point, I have forgotten what blue it is. Let's go with cerulean. I don't really know. But you can kind of see what the original color was. <laughs> on there. And because I like to use orange even though it doesn't always work. Is that the paint spot? Um, so I'm using Grumbacher Cadmium Orange. Um, I thought I had made... Uh, no, I'm going to use it. I was gonna say I did make a lighter orange with white, but I'm still not super fond of it. You know, I'm gonna actually torch these puddles before I splatter. Because there's a ton of air bubbles and I'm gonna see if that does anything differently. And then my favorite, some Prussian blue. I'm just going to give a quick torch. Um, also, there is no silicone in this, which I thought would be nice because when I resin it, I won't have to wash it, but I'm still going to have to wash it somewhat, I think, because the pore under it had silicone. And that's so powerful. <laughs> All right, this is going to be messy. I'm looking around, make sure everything's covered. Yes! Oh, <gasps> shit! Oh. Chipping around. I really shouldn't have my paintings behind me. Okay, I'm not going to go as hard this time. Wow. Excuse the cursing. Remember at the beginning I said it was PG or R-rated, whatever, so. All right, I am going. Let's make a little dip, dip tray again. Because, like, this one is screwed right now. That one's really ugly. So I'm pouring white. That's really dark. Um, I don't want to add orange. Uh, okay, let me think for a second. That's really, really dark. Orange is going to make it muddier. I also don't like those. Those aren't... Let's do a little bit of red and um, maybe gold, odd choice, but we'll see. Okay, maybe I'll do a little blue too. All 
right, so I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is what I've done. Much better. Some more white. Actually, I'm gonna pour some of this Grumbacher iridescent white into this mix over here. No, oh, I do need to lift. I can't get to it. So there's. Yeah, I know. I just ripped. likes I love this one need something darker up there I'm gonna add a little bit of Windsor blue I like using the idea of this drip not drip tray um dip tray because it allows me to add and change color I kind of wanted some continuity. I think this is too dark right here. because I just smashed a whole bunch of air bubbles into play. This one's my favorite. Reds and blues really is all you can see in there. Um, this is pretty exciting right here. That one, eh, not so much. Um, I'm going to have to tilt. Yeah, that's, that's much other, are there other totally naked spots? That might be the biggest one. Just gonna use any more white. Hold on, I'm gonna lift this a second. A lot of white in my tray. And something else. Add some of the darkness to up there. I need to get out another camera and while this is covered because it's so pretty take pictures and then crop those. Alrighty. Oh for those of you um, that have watched me long enough I talk about my parents non-stop and I just, they were interviewed for um, our local paper and there's an awesome photo of them. So I put it on, even though I usually just put art on it, I put it on my Instagram page, which I believe there is a link to um, on the front page of my YouTube channel and, and uh, in the descriptions. 
So if you want to see what the two most wonderful people on earth look like, you can go check them out. Because they are my everything. I know that sounds awfully, awfully cheesy, but it's true. I am having a lot of fun with this painting. I'm having a lot of fun creating this one. I like working on a bigger canvas because I have more room to explore. I really like this. Testing. Seeing how deep. I don't do that that often anymore. But I don't think it wants to move, really move much. Okay. I don't think it wants to move at all. So in that case, oh, while well, um, somebody asked me what size mallet this is? Two and a half. Two and a half inches from the widest points. Sorry, I just, I remembered reading that um, question and saying I'm not really sure. I did that so that it kind of combines it all. I finally, I got all of you answered and caught up on my YouTube while I was waiting for my brother's surgery. So, all caught up, and he's all good to go. It was a successful day. All right, there are, I am going to have to Kind of look into the light. I know that it will fill on its own because it did on that other one, but I prefer to fill most of it if I can. There's really not any other low spots. There's like minor low spots, but those will definitely fill by themselves. I'm gonna turn this so that you can see how I've been viewing it and I will view how you've been and I will see how you've been viewing it. I love this just kaleidoscope of colors. Alrighty. I forgot how I used to do this until someone mentioned it. I used to get real close. So 
So I'm much happier with this. I don't see any serpents kissing. Um, so if you stuck around to watch, I appreciate it. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.